Welcome to episode 54 of the Sourcing Challenge Show. I am your host, Mark Lundgren. In this episode, I sat down with Pierre Defrotin from France and asked him how he got started in sourcing. I started in, in 2000, actually. Uh, it was for uh, an internship. I was preparing to access to a master degree. And before I've got a bachelor in literature, uh, quite different of recruiting and human resources. So I decided to make a, a scissor, uh, a cut during my study and go in internship. And uh, I've got an experience uh, in communication and uh, PR and take phone and convince journalists to come to a meeting. To uh, So I, I, I look for an, ad, an advert about uh, sourcing i was a researcher they, they said that the uh, paper people who come from communication and pr can come so i answer and got an interview and then they explained me <laughs> the job say okay nice it could be interesting uh the job was uh finding people and convincing them to come in interview and with a uh, um uh, a specification so we have to find the the good people for the for the right job so it was uh, on the paper it was good so uh, i started the internship uh during the f i think the 15th first day i was uh in a shadow interviewing uh, with the research with a senior researcher she was amazing because she, she was make a lot of sketch. It, it was uh, I we were fun in, in mm -hmm. this time, uh, so there is no internet was very poor. Uh, no, <laughs> there was nothing. So uh, we we, were, we we went to to phone and to make some sketch to uh, uh, identify people and then uh, call them back and then try to have a discussion with them. So it was the it was a game. A sort of game and then uh, i started during 15 first day i was uh, just listening and after uh, 15 days they gave me a brief it was a, a manager a production manager for a uh, wind mall in the far on the east of france it was <laughs> a little bit tough <laughs> but uh no just some uh alumni book mm -hmm. but not so much though it was a uh, hard hunting uh, with a yellow page mm -hmm. and then and try to to find people so uh after three months i succeeded so i was very happy and it, what it was fun it was every every number phone number personal phone number of people you get yeah. or name was like a effect uh, uh a fast we, uh, we were very happy it was a victory <laughs> Uh, completely different today because in in half a week uh, in half a day you can have 100 people. <laughs> it was completely different. So um, we have to manage scarcity uh, in this time. So uh, after that, uh, I switched from an associate, a partner, uh, and partner who, who, to whom I was attached. Uh, Asked me to identify profiles uh, in advance of phase. Uh, it was in banking, mm -hmm. and uh, the, the job was completely different because there is no assignment, no position, and I have to convince them that it could be interesting to discuss with my partner. So uh, after the the end of my internship, I said, okay, never mind, never again. I promise to, to, to never get back in recruitment in, in company. <laughs> so <laughs> I go back to school and make my, uh, my and I arrive on the, on the markets, uh, work market on 2001. Mm -hmm. uh, first crisis, internet crisis. <laughs> So it was quite tough because with the Bachelor of Literature and a uh, master degree in human resources in French in, in France, it was quite tough to and not very bankable. <laughs> so I found a, a friend of my stepfather uh, at uh, a company, uh, a, a editing company, mm -hmm. and was looking for a, a researcher. So I go back in research. But it was completely different. It was. Uh, he were specialized uh, in the marketing research mm -hmm. and um, 
my first assignment was uh, a scientific director for uh, marketing research. Okay. It's uh, an in between between statistics, informatics, and specialist in sort of um, data data processing software. Mm -hmm. so, a data scientist. It was fun and was very interesting. And it was uh, what I what I loved in this job is, is sort of uh, uh, um, like James Bond, and you you go under the radar and to understand what the company make or um, and understand what position is. It's like a tourist. You make a tour. <laughs> Mm -hmm. between different company to try to understand and to uh, target the good people and so it was the the goal of the of the company so i start then at uh, such year and then um, four years later I make a move in a different firm and then st i'm still in recruitment 20 years after <laughs> <laughs> and i love this uh the i think the the breaking uh, for me it was in uh, thir uh, 2013. Mm -hmm. uh, I left my um, a company. Uh, I go back in my first uh, mm -hmm. editing company. Okay. As associate director and mm -hmm. stakeholder, uh, it was uh, a critical economic uh, situation for us. Uh, in this day, uh, no, budget, no more budgets, so we have to manage differently our uh, segments and to, uh, to be creative. So I discover uh, a lot of blog uh, like Irina, Boolean Strings, Boolean Black Bell from Dentati, uh, SourceCon with Dean uh, uh, Costa. I was blazed. Uh, it was no, it was awesome, uh, and try to train myself uh, all by myself to 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 go deeper in linkedin to go deeper in the world wide web but in on the web uh, in france there was no not so much in this mm -hmm. time but it was a start so i discovered that it was very very fun and i'm a geeky guy so it's yeah i started to my first scraping and so on so and it was uh, Cool, and it was completely different because when I when I started to work uh, in 2000, we have to deal with scarcity of data. Mm -hmm. There is no not so much. Uh, after one month, you've got 50 person on your uh, book book, yeah, on your book, mm -hmm. uh, hunting book. <laughs> uh, and when I discover scraping, and so you can manage a lot of people in in a very short time the 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 goal was quite different because you have to manage uh, the abundance mm -hmm. and to enrich the good data and it was quite different because when you when you go uh, on a scraping station you have to understand that what you what you really want in the end and you have to think about it when you start Sometimes <laughs> you don't know where you go. The first time I make a scraping, I scrape all the K Kegel community, French Kegel community. It was 1,600 people. I said to my associate, hey, look, I've got every, everything. I said, okay, and, and then? Uh, then it's cool. Yeah, but <laughs> what do we want to deal with this? <laughs> we cannot do anything with it. So, yeah, it was fun, and uh, I discover how uh, to uh, to be uh, more uh, mature mm -hmm. with the uh, da data data processing, and work on okay what what I want and where I go and what, where I want to go. Mm -hmm. So, having been in the community now since well since two thousand, um, I'm sure you've seen the kind of growth of of sourcing in in France as well. Um, I think like from a European point of view and even from a global point of view, France has a lot of, well, sourcers um, and a lot of kind of knowledge coming out of there. I, what, what is it that kind of happened in, I think specifically in the Paris region about sourcing and, you know, what, what is it in, in France that kind of made sourcing something that people were into? When I think about it, uh, researcher is an old job. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, the first, my first job in 2000. And today is still the same, but completely different. Mm-hmm. Because uh, the, the goal is still searching people. And, the, uh, and in general, we've got specific specification. Uh, uh, sometimes it's hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, a specialist in marketing, data science, mm-hmm. and CRM. Yeah, it's it's my expertise in France. Mm-hmm. So it's it's tough. But in in the other end, uh, yeah, it's the same job. But the difference is today it's the market is a candidate market mm-hmm. uh, for now two or three years, I think, in France. So sourcing uh, is under the spotlight. Mm -hmm. Um, And there is um, the the community, uh, when I I was uh, younger in in the job, I was suffering about the the, the loneliness. Mm -hmm. It's uh, because you 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 make a job, but you're alone, and there was there wasn't a community. I discovered a community in um, yeah in two thousand thirteen. I discovered some blog, mm-hmm. and I discovered a community later. Uh, I think the first time I, I went in a sourcing summit, it was sourcing summit UK. It mm-hmm. was in Two thousand eighteen, yeah. Yeah, I think that was yeah, that was yeah. Uh, yeah. D- David Sanka was speaker mm-hmm. and friend of mine, and said, "Okay, come, come and see." Yeah, and I, 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 I have, uh, I had already met uh, Guillaume Alexander in mm-hmm. Paris, in True Paris, and I said, "Okay, there is a great event, uh, SourceCon and Sourcing Summit. You have to come." So, okay, if I can, I can. So it was the first, my first Sozu, it was in the UK and I discovered a community and I was completely, oh, <laughs> oh my God, people who speak the same language as me and it was, it was so fun and so, yeah, so fun. And so when I go back in France, there is a start of community because uh, uh, L'Ecole du Recrutement, mm-hmm. uh, Link Humans, friends, uh, mm-hmm. start to events uh, more more oftenly, mm-hmm. and then we meet with Morgan, for example, uh, or other people, and discuss, start a discussion, and then there is a Slack community which arrive, uh, I think, uh, uh, eighteen months now, I think, mm-hmm. uh, lead by Benjamin Jean and Amélie Collinet, mm-hmm. and then. Yeah, recruiters kitchen, and then uh, yeah, it starts to, to 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 discuss, and there is so the community in France is quite new. Uh, on the the on the point that uh, there is now uh, she it exists, mm-hmm. and there is some point uh, uh, we try not 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 today, but each month to make an event. Uh, mm-hmm. It's uh, in meeting in a bar or uh, a webinar, or not a webinar, or but a, a, a workshop. Some kind, of, some kind of training or workshop. Yeah, yeah. training. So uh, we try each month to, to have this. So it's, yeah, there is, and people want to, to learn. Uh, it's today in France, it's, uh, I think I, I'm, I'm the, one of the oldest people in the community. So it's, uh, the community is, yeah, young, mm-hmm. uh, young, and uh, we are people who start in in the in the industry mm-hmm. and want to learn. And the the yeah, the community uh, could uh, catalyze the, mm-hmm. the the knowledge. And yeah, there is some. I think in Paris, yeah, in Paris there is two events uh, per year. Uh, La Source. Mm-hmm. Uh, and through Paris, mm-hmm. uh, so yeah, it's there is it starts. And Pierre, now, like I, I know you're a, a big fan of scraping. Um, yeah. But uh, other than than scraping, what what does your sourcing tool stack look like? What's your uh, go to tools and and processes? <laughs> I need a scraper. <laughs> so <laughs> my my go to scraping uh, scraping tool is a tweet hub. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it's, it's not the it's not the simplest uh, tool, but I, I love this because it's a scraper and you can uh, make some repeat action. 
Mm -hmm. And so, uh, example, when you see a site map of a, of a, of a site, you can uh, scrape all the, the, the URL and mm -hmm. say, okay, now go. And you go, it goes all through the URL. The URL. Mm -hmm. So it's very interesting and very, would work very fast. Mm -hmm. and, and I can process, for example, with a tweet, I can process some uh, uh, Google search engine. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example, um, my process is very simple. Uh, as when I learned the job, it was step first, okay, target your market, mm -hmm. which market. So in the market, which are the leading companies? Mm -hmm. And then when you've got your donor list, then you, you start to identify the position that you are interested in. When you've got all the the, the title, mm -hmm. then you can start in looking LinkedIn um, and so uh, video and so and so and so. Um, so the process is uh, when I start, I've got my donor list, mm -hmm. uh, my uh, titles list, and then I match this on Google uh, Custom Search Engine and mm -hmm. process with a Twitch app. Okay. And it's a sort of automatically. And yeah. I process this on in general in LinkedIn, of mm -hmm. course. And it depends on the position. It could be in, on GitHub because with Google CSE, CSE you can have got works for. Mm -hmm. It's incomplete, but it's interesting to process because it's automatic. So yeah. it's automation. So, okay, I, I, I put this on my uh, on a computer and go back. and <laughs> Let it run. run. Yeah. Let it run. So um, the first, yeah, a tweet. I love this. And after an, an a tweet, a tweet, uh, uh, Phantom Buster to mm -hmm. enrich to enrich data because mm -hmm. I, I need to collect email. So Phantom Buster is quite good. Uh, sometimes it depends. Nymeria, uh, there is a, the, 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 the launch uh, an automation tool. Mm -hmm. It's quite, yeah. It's not. It's there is some tool more relevant, but mm -hmm. the, the the fact that it's automation, which which is very interesting, because mm -hmm. let it run, and then you go back. You, you have your email, but it's very uh, in France. It's incomplete. I've yeah. got uh, thirty percent of uh, return, so it's I need to to collect differently mm -hmm. after, mm -hmm. and then Phantom Buster to for example network booster and then mm -hmm. after extract email from LinkedIn and then I try to I complete the list and then in the end outreach tool um, I'm nowadays I'm using Mixmax mm -hmm. for four years now uh, I'm happy with because the the analytics is very good are very good mm -hmm. um, um, I'm, my ATS is Luxo. Luxo uh, got a, a part of campaign, but the analytics are quite poor mm -hmm. today. I hope in the in the future they will uh, enrich this part because the outreach system is very interesting because you can mix uh, email, SMS, and then now um, phone campaign. Mm -hmm. The the there is a, a sort of stop the campaign stop, you have to uh, reach out by phone. And then when you done, they continue in the other um, channel, SMS. And so it's quite, quite good. Uh, I, I, I run a, a little campaign, I'm general manager for a company today, and I identify eight people. I launch uh, a campaign and I have seven people once on me, mm -hmm. so it's quite good. Yeah. And with a mix of email, two email, and then SMS, and no, 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 a nice mess. Phone, and then SMS, and then, mm -hmm. and it's it worked good, very good. So uh, yeah, uh, here is my go to go to tools. Mm -hmm. But I've got plenty, <laughs> plenty <laughs> plugins. If somebody like me or you know somebody else, I know more and more companies are kind of looking at France or looking at Paris. Um, if you're not a French recruiter or sourcer and you're, you're asked to, to source people in, in Paris, what are the differences we need to think about and, you know, how would we start? Where would we start? French people are bad in English. Mm -hmm. so. 
<laughs> no, but it's interesting because um, in France we've got the difference be between uh, female and male uh, for in uh, spelling. So you have to to be to be very attentive with this. I think uh, the second point is uh, yeah. I think the the first when you uh, contact people uh, is better in French. Mm -hmm. Because it's yeah, I think in front in French people are. Well, it depends of the of the people that you you want to to reach out. But uh, in general, it better is better in French. I think uh, after. Uh, I think yeah, it's the the two points. Yeah, um, Pierre Andre, uh, yeah. if. People want to keep in contact with you and, and see what you're writing, see where you're going to be speaking next and things like that. How can they best do that? Uh, on LinkedIn, sure. Um, and then I've got uh, my uh, own blog uh, mm -hmm. on my uh, website, uh, anara.fl slash blog. Uh, and I, I've i got some French article and uh, some English article too. <laughs> some, I try. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you soon again. Yeah, thank you, Mark. Thank you. If you like this episode, please consider sharing it or any of the other episodes with a friend or a colleague who might be interested as well. And consider subscribing to the channel, which will help us meet more people um, and grow the community.